Man, we're gonna lose. I'm knifing DP, man. Oh, we're gonna go to OT because of that. That sucks. <laughs> They're knifing A. Eh? one A. Yeah, so look at the trajectory of the knife. They're knifing A. Eh? Okay. And look at you tagged. And do you remember? Because I remember around where they had KO, Sova, and the goons, and the KO, you tagged him with your knife, and then he paired up with Sova over here. And they were gooning a B split. Just keep that in mind. I'm actually pretty sus right now. Especially when your Killjoy doesn't see anything top mid. I'm sus. Unless they ran past your knife. Can they do that? They don't pop yet. I can play that. I play on. Okay. Yeah, look where the Aster was. I'm flash. Okay, I was not gonna be rest. I can go. The fake. You see how I had the read? Just because we saw two on the knife? Because they did something they'd already done. That's sort of your job on this roll. To have an idea of what their fakes look like. Wait, 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 wait. Flash. Oh. Last player standing. Yeah, we got OC because of that. So if you'd literally just been vocal and made the comm careful B, I think it might be fake, eh? Then you might win the round because this guy is, might be more aware. Nice shots, but like it's doomed. No time. Because you have no time because you fell for the fake. You see what I'm talking about? Did you know only 420% of the people who watch my videos could actually receive free VOD reviews? Really? It's true. Even me. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. I'm going to join the Discord to learn how. Then show up to a VOD review stream to get some of that potassium wisdom. No scope right to my brain. And that's not all. I'm also offering free Valorant gift cards to anyone who makes yes. successful improvement based on my coaching. Made possible by the support of the Generous Knowers Guild on Discord. So what are you waiting for? Hit us up! And enjoy the video. I disagree with your decision to buy Ghost here because we have two entry fraggers on the squad and we don't have any other pop flash like Omen's gonna flash here for the rush. This is a hard B rush, a really hard B rush. So right now we have plenty of weaponry. Like the amount of people holding B at most is three guys. We easily outgun them. So I think these flashes would be incredibly useful. There's actually just a famous Kampeki round that we can just grab that demonstrates this, and it's a pistol round. And it's not too uncommon in the five stacks on pistol round to just buy all the util for this reason. It's because you're five stacked, okay? Because you got all of the deeds in a in a big party. If you were split up, it could make more sense to want to have the ghost. But here, we, we can really lean on uh, full supporting the team. Yeah. Oh, it's not even pistol round. One lane. Spawn one. Flashing spawn. Sight, flashing sight. I hit him on sight. He's inside. Yeah. So I'm looking more for this like type of full rollout. And he actually starts closer than you. We can learn his. I remember learning these. Flashing close. So he's literally just aiming at the top of the arch. I believe I've got the right wind, the right line. If I recall it, the boat had to be. Is not the fourth. I remember doing this exact thing when we first found this. It's the fifth. I'm actually trash. Kampeki's loadout. Fifth, you're even at the top. I digress. What? Okay, don't use his. Don't use his. Get your own flash. This sucks. This sucks. It probably doesn't suck, and I'm dumb. Anyways, the point is, like, I'm fine with whatever nade you threw. Um, like, you naded stairs, I think. Kampeki nade CT. I don't care. I want you flashing oh this guy, God. and I want you flashing this guy. Anyways, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. It's nitpicky. It's really nitpicky, okay? But they're rushing. I really think we benefit more from the full utility. 
Yeah, I'm down for nading stairs as well. But you see this first fight Ray's got? Like, that That dude is out lane fighting us dead on. Can someone help me here? Yeah. Okay! Okay. You gotta get vocal here. You gotta get vocal here. Your omen's a total idiot. <laughs> like, you're playing this really well. I love the heckin' angle here. Um, I love that you call the guy lane. That's like S plus, S plus, S plus. But the reason why, uh, if you we're gonna talk about Kepeki again because he's the KO I watch. The reason why when he plays lane, he stands further up is exactly this. So he can still play with his teammate who's tucked here. No problem, they can bait for each other. But he plays up here in case they're dumb and they scale up like this. It's easy for him to join those fights. And here you're sort of paying that price. Or you just have to get vocal and tell Omen to chillax. Because you don't got him. Oh? There. Rushing again? Okay. I'm not the biggest fan of five stack rushing against an eco. Yeah, I said you moved you. I'm flashing side. Hey, that's sort of exactly why I don't like rushing against an eco, by the way. Do you see how right here? This round is really losable. This is what we're trying to avoid when we're playing against eco rounds. So you want to try and find them on eco rounds um, or on anti eco rounds. And the best way to play, it can feel almost unintuitive because you don't like playing alone against ecos. But you want a 131 on this map. It's the eco and really collect info and deny info. I told him, wait, my knife. I'll check. I'll check. I think they did wait. But the point is like the pre-round positioning. Uh, and in the one three one, the person playing over here should be like the Sentinel and they buy ghosts and everyone else buys guns and you're chilling. Uh, we, we can check the pre-round. Let's go ahead, guys. I'm going to knife safe side. Just break my knife. If they are stuck in it, would be nice or this. Woman, can you flash instant, maybe? And I just pick there. There. Okay. So technically, you said, wait my knife. Oh man, this is hacking language barrier nonsense. I hate this. Because, okay, the way you presented it is not good enough. And especially because now Raze is talking about rushing, you have to get vocal again. Like, I know, I know you technically said it, but let's, let's throw that out the window right now. And let's just talk about, did you convey the idea to your teammates such that they will wait for the knife? I think the answer to that question is no. It's sort of like how I've established this habit when I call contact explodes in solo queue to say no noise, no noise, like three times right before the round begins. Because I know that one contact explode is not in the lexicon of every Radiant player. It should be, but it's not. And two, people are on autopilot. So you really have to remind them as the round saying no noise, no noise, no noise. So here you call wait knife, agreed. 100%. But now your race is already asking for an insta flash. Like she's going to giga rush. And you have to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait for my knife. They're on eco. So I think we could have been more vocal. Uh, I agree, though. You did tell them to wait for your knife. I, I have to give you a B. Like, I think if this is fake Ananas in your position, he is talking again to be more clear. And that can't be understated how important that is here. So, like, you do have the right idea. Perfect. Like, you want them to wait for the knife. S plus. The problem is they didn't wait for the knife. And so, that's sort of your bad. They thought you meant we're going to pop off the knife. <laughs> wait, that's messed up. Why didn't you go for the trade? Right here. Oh, you too. You're too lazy. Focus on the knife. All right, round four. It's round four, and you need to tell me how they're playing and how we're going to exploit that, or roughly. Or if it's not really exploitable because they're playing really by the book. Like, is anybody on the enemy team doing anything dumb? I guess is the question. And um, my personal opinion is yes. I think I I'm, I got a guy. I got a guy in mind. That peaking A main early. There's nothing wrong with peaking A main early. Yeah, I think the B players are leaving B very quickly. And they they don't care about B main. Like they just give it. So like making early A noise, ending B with your kill jet taking space to B main. Sounds really good. But let, let's see. Oh, close main. This is sort of what we're doing on accident. So let's see if my read is correct. Okay, chat. So here kill walked up into B main. Oh, close Is Aster one of their B players? 
I think Astra plays in this area, mostly because of how fast she always shows up a heaven. Or maybe market. Could be market. Ooh, they knifed yeah, us B main now. Reloading. I'm going to mid. Come in, guys. I'm, li I'm lurking. Come in. Hmm. Eight seconds for swaps, right? This is really awkward to do alone. Two city, two city coming. Oh, it is super lit. Three, I think. Maybe three. We still have market. We still can in four. We still can now. On the side. One here, one here. Three, 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 coming to me. One here, on me. One enemy remains. Nice. Yeah, so the A players really do not rotate off of A, and the B players rotate very quickly. I don't like the solo lurk up mid, but otherwise, good round. Yeah, I. We gotta be tricky. I really think if you try to get your killjoy waiting here in case they recon or whatever, and you just knife and have raised satchel out and die, maybe get one. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a completely free plant on B. Yeah, yeah just hit my knife. Hit my cheek. One close. One, One flash. Can you ult? Oh, you're suppressed. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait the ult, guys. Wait the ult. Can we ult and go back to B? I think they're all gonna rotate. Yeah, there we go. Shoot I, I wish up. we pre-rounded this. I don't even think you need the Killjoy ult. They're on eco. I am pretty sure they're all rotated already. It could be 1v main and that's it. Can you smoke city? It's okay. Yeah, preset. Got marketed time, that's annoying. Nice. I have more ult, Oh, you are cold. You're actually cold. Okay, okay. You're like so aware. I love the flash. This is a bit of an error. Shouldn't be peeking the guy. So close though. Um, you almost played this really well. What you want to do here is you don't want to peek. You just want to hold. You don't want to move either. You just want to stay right there. And you just want to hold your space. Yeah, same. yeah, so it was lit. You start A, you fast run B, and nobody's B. They, they had to come mark it in CT. I think the same pattern could have been pre-rounded. Oh. One out, close hit. Thermal oh, oh, oh. hit. out. Flash. Okay. So right here, why don't you shoot at the jet? This is a problem. Right here. One out. Hit. Like you waited. Why are you aiming? I guess. Like you aim and then you shoot. Like you're trying to. I don't know. I'm wondering why you don't insta shoot. You see what I'm talking about? It's like you flick and micro adjust, even though there's no target. Okay. So it's 3v5. This is a scenario where I'm down for the stupid plays. Um, I think you're sort of expected to be on catwalk right now because you had 2A, the bomb is down. And so it's totally realistic to expect like these uh, B players to rotate off of B a bit. And they might look to creep up and contain. And so I, I think it could be good to try and catch them off guard. I'm coming. This isn't bad either, but yeah, there they are. Do you see where Sova's bullets are coming from? I want you to see the trajectory of his bullets. Right here. Those are coming from bot mid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going too short. It's fine. I have this fight. Enemy spotted A. Okay, let's go. Which is not tricky. Like, let me, let me put you in my head for the eco round. For the eco round, I want some type of knife that I can land on B. Or vice versa. And I want to, like, wait A main to see if Jet pushes out into us. So I'll, like, huck some B knife or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to knife it, of course. I'm hacking. Not the KO player. Yeah, this one's pretty good. So, like, you huck some B knife. You have one dude hacking, making some noise B main. And you've got the green squad posting up against Jet. Just nails a knife. That's not nailing a knife. D don't cope me. It landed here. I'd want it to land, like, lever. I want to... Uh, like make presence on the other side of the map try and exploit this jet who does get very aggro hey man it's your eco round like where's the trickiness you're just you're knifing bot mid and then you're walking cat 
No shit. And you're making instant contact they made? Like at this point, if I'm like the enemy KO or Sofa, I know that you're all here. Maybe one guy's lurking back hot, you know? And so I've got the full read on your whole round. And then apparently I'm an idiot and I can cross catwalk against your half by. Uh, they're gonna insta so I don't know if it's gonna be a good take, but we can try it. Okay, so this round I'm gonna predict before the knife tags. I don't think it's gonna tag anybody. Um, yeah, let's see first and I'll tell you why. Okay, so why didn't I know it wouldn't tag anybody? My read is they've got Killjoy Astro ult, and specifically the Killjoy ult. So, which usually means Killjoy plays in this area to play for a retake. And because they're going to play for a retake, they're not going to aggress A main this round. If anything, they're going to aggress B main. And I wanted to show you that the knife wouldn't tag anybody first to really drive home the fact that my way of thinking on average yields correct reads. It doesn't even matter if Killjoy is tree. <laughs> the point is that that's the indicator I used to predict that nobody was here. And if you think that way, you sort of like, you can save the knife in this scenario. I'm not going to lie. So I would not be surprised if we encounter yeah, tree friction. Because tree is their win con. They need tree control to play area. Yeah, I mean, it kills guys. Nice. Sprees until 50. 15. No, 50. 50. Yeah, nice. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Can smoke? A knife inside. So I would want a knife tree in some capacity. One side. One side. It's probably dice. Yeah, dice. Mm, you're better. You got the read. Down a. Okay, we should play together. I'm gonna plan for them. I'm coming to you after that. Wait, didn't they say heaven? Nice. Yeah, I think you're not trusting the calm here. Plan for them. I'm coming to you after that. Yeah, right there, the guy tells you he's heaven. So tough. Yeah, you just missed the calm. Yeah, he, he like, he almost certainly routed this way. The one dude on their team that's pretty unpredictable, I won't lie, is the KO. He should not be dice. This guy's actually really, really suboptimal. Nice. Like, he's also crossing cat against us. Jeff. So he's either like super tricky, like really overthinking it, or he's kind of bad. No one close, man. I can flash you into market if you wanna push it. Jet. Yeah, ready? Yeah, One, two, three. Yeah, potion. Holy shit. Bro, you chill. <laughs> this race has no chill. I can flash you in the market. Yes, yeah, sounds good. Satchel out. <laughs> Kill just typed in chat. Not my problem. They died a one guy instant. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Six to six. Honestly. This piece of shit was really hard for you to work with. I'm not even going to fault you for some of those rounds. I dislike your approach to attack, though. I really want to see you thinking more about how these guys are defending. We should have identified this KO is very likely to make mistakes. Like, if you recall around, we pushed him market. Did he kill three of us? Yeah. But was he just stuck in market? Also, yes. So that was bad positioning. You recall the round where we were clearly hitting A? He crossed cat anyways, died for free. That wasn't good. The round they're playing for a retake, he's just dice anyways. That's not good. So I'd be hunting this guy. Like this guy is ego fragging. He's just ego fighting everything. And I don't need you to identify that. I need you to identify literally anything. Like I'm down for you to say this kills your rotates very quickly. Let's sell some A fakes and take B space. This jet peaks A main pretty frequently. Let's fake some B noise and all firing squad out A main. Yo, this Sova always throws this recon immediately B main. Let's just hide from it and then contact B. Yo, this Astra burns her smokes early off of simple A noise. Let's just boom pot A and then reset. Anything, okay? All of these are good comms because you're basically saying, this person does X, let's do Y. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, please um, don't instant knife on pistol. No. We can keep it. One flash. Two hours. Wait, I have flashing one. I'm gonna play. Coming main, coming main. Inside. Yeah, we need to adjust. 
we need to adjust so telling your duelist that you can flash a main is generally really good you tell your raise wait don't peek i'm gonna flash a main for you in two seconds lit however this raise hell no with this raise i'm taking my pistol out and i'm standing right next to her because she has a death wish you feel me wait i have flashing one this guy's just gonna fight we've seen this guy play all game not only do we need to sort of have a read on these guys we need to have a decent read on our duelists because the way you support them does change a bit this guy's crazy <laughs> they don't wait for your flash ever so why are we gonna try and flash for them we're not because they're just gonna fight so we should just come over here and fight with them I play. if this were pistol round i love it okay uh like a pistol round is zero to zero like we, we have no info about how our duelists play go for the flash i love it coming really main good. coming main inside One enemy nice shot jeez are you gonna ego fight this guy on 40 hp inside Tuck. <clears throat> tuck, tuck, tuck. Buy time, buy time. Stall more. Throw that flash and then don't swing. Just stay tuck. On him. Also, I saw somebody asking. The reason I don't like knifing immediately uh, on pistol realm is because as far as I'm aware, 90% of the time in every elo on every server, uh, people make noise on pistol round within the first five seconds. So I wait five seconds. Then if I don't hear anything and they don't hear anything, then I'm down to knife. But more often than not, they're going to make noise because okay the reason why is one people rush in lower ranks on pistol all the time and two in higher ranks they don't know how you defend and so they have to use utility they can't greed any utility like you can on round four or round five so they're gonna flash this corner or they're gonna jump spot or they're gonna recon close because they have to because they don't know how you defend and so because the onus is on the attackers to contest space here and they don't know how you defend yet they're going to burn utility in higher elo which means they tell you where they are and in lower elo people just rush on pistol rounds which means they tell you where they are and so burning the recon ability immediately is pretty worthless in my opinion because i think you get the recon anyways and you can use the knife to like suppress them if they're trying to rush out can you come a Aris? i think you are chilling on the actually yeah so you see how you keep trying to pair with this piece of shit i think you should start trying to pair with this piece of shit <laughs> I can flash mid. I'm flashing mid. Oh. Spike down mid. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. Good pick, but you're about to, you're about to be goofy. That was goofy. Unknown. These flashes are really Skip. good. Um. Spike down. I can flash mid. I'm flashing mid. Oh. I think we need to work on how we present the flashes because it's not just Rays at this point. It's literally everyone on our team. And odds are that that means it's probably slightly our fault. I think you need to pick the dude off the minimap who needs to wait. Like after they get that pick, you're going to flash this catwalk piece of shit. I think you need to say, Omen, don't peek. I'm going to flash. Flashing now, peek. I think like that, like agent name, don't peek. <laughs> I think this is the calm we're missing. You say that first and then I'm flashing mid. And don't even like wait to flash. Just like you should be throwing it as you calm this. Location, pop or whatever. Because the flashes are actually really good. And this omen should not be dying like this. I'm not going to lie. I actually think it's comms issue. Uh, this flash is fabulous. Spike down mid. They're both blind. Your omen should be killing both of them. Oh shit, we're throwing this one. Make noise. I push up. Make noise. Nice. This is a mistake. Spike plant. So you knifed, but you're playing slow. You need to start like clomping as if you're going to peek this guy and pull their crosshair. Mm, I don't like knifing top mid. Sometimes you knife for low purpose. So you're already fighting tiles. You know, there's one tiles. You know, there's one top mid because they turreted. The knife has two purposes. One info and two, uh, of course, suppressing. Here, I don't see a good reason to want to suppress the potential two players top mid. And we know that there's one or two there already because of the turret. So I'd like to hold that knife. There's a lot of really good times that we can use it. Case in point, knifing right now would be so sick. Spike down You feel? I'm not picking it. Molling the plant. Yeah, 
Both of my knights. No, 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 one by seven. No? Yeah, he's kind of short. All, all left side. Must be two left side. Last so this is a game knowledge issue. They really can't be Evan. Your jet should have been good for one. That was statistically winning round. Man, we're gonna lose. I'm laughing deep here, man. Oh, we're gonna go to OT because of that. That sucks. They knifing A. Two one A. Yeah, so look at the trajectory of the knife. They knifing A. Okay. And then look at you tagged. And do you remember? Because I remember a round where they had KO Sova and the goons and the KO, you tagged him with your knife and then he paired up with Sova over here and they were gooning a B split. Just keep that in mind. I'm actually pretty sus right now, especially when your Killjoy doesn't see anything top mid. I'm sus. Unless they ran past your pass knife, me. can they do that? They don't pass yet. I can play that. Okay. I play on. Okay. Spike down yes. mid. Yeah, look where the Aster was. I'm flash. Oh. Okay, I was not gonna be rest. I can go. The fake. You see how I had the read? Just because we saw two on the knife? Because they did something they'd already done. That's sort of your job on this roll. To have an idea of what their fakes look like. Yeah, we got an OC because of that. So if you'd literally just been vocal and made the calm careful B, I think it might be fake, eh? then you might win the round because this guy is might be more aware Kill nice shots but like it's doom because you have no time because you fell for the fake you see what i'm talking about it's really easy you've got two things you need to work on D -d doom playing with teammates D -d 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 -doom. some teammates genuinely won't really listen to Flash calls, just favor gun out with them. It's just flash calls to agent if they run any, of course. Generally speaking, teams will be running fakes at our ELO. And yeah, I mean, I, I called it. <laughs> it's, of course, it's easy from the spectator seat for me to be sus here. But do you see why I'm sus now in hindsight? Because you remember, I forget what round it was, but your knife tag just KO. I'm like, huh, KO wouldn't be alone. And we saw Sova KO. Yeah. So if you want to be consistently in Radiant, we have to we have to figure out why you didn't notice that. Because you should notice that. Like a Radiant player might not consciously think about that, but they're going to subconsciously say it might be fake or care be fake at this point. And even without having that pattern at this point, you should be looking at your map. You should be wearing your B fake even without the uh the read. I'm not gonna lie. Because you only suppress two. Unless you don't trust your knife. Unless you think they could run past your knife. That's the part I wasn't sure about. I didn't know if they could just run past your knife. But I feel like if they do that, raise would come. So one eight. And your jet's up trapping. Yeah. 